Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, everybody. How's it going? Today, we're getting into another whipping chat. I haven't gotten a goddamn thing done on this painting. I feel like I have gotten nothing done on any of my crafts. We'll get into that as soon as I get into my diamond painting mood. So, let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. While I'm on the topic, I am working on Craftably, in spirit, I am free. Gorgeous painting. I have Mooney made, Muni made, however you want to call it. I have my gorgeous pen from Pens by Maggie. Maggie is a sweetheart. And I got some cover minders. Mm, not really sure where the cover minders came from. Eh whatever, what have you. So, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Okie dokie. I got me some diamonds. I am ready to get into some diamond painting. I, I'm not excited about it at all. I haven't diamond painted in a week, y'all. I haven't diamond painted in a week. Uh, diamond painting has been like a like, pushed to the back burner for me lately. Um, I have found a new love in wood burning. As you guys know, I did start a second channel. I know somebody's gonna complain. Why are you talking about your second channel even more? Like, why? Shut the fuck up, okay? Good God. Quit getting your goddamn panties in a bunch and mind your own goddamn business while I talk about anything on my channel. I'm so tired of people being naggy. Nag about this and nag about that. Y'all act like I'm a fucking role model or something. I'm just a every old, everyday, everyday ordinary human freaking being that works a 50, 60 hour a week job and does YouTube for fun. So, I ain't any different than you. Okay? Okay. Now that I got that off my chest, um, let's see. First things first. Ugh, work. Work as finally, finally, slow down just a wee little bit. Uh, my boss had a whole crew of people in over the weekend, and they got, I don't want you to go there, they got a bunch of stuff done, and which was very, very helpful, because now everything's pretty much done until uh, yesterday, and then... Um, Today's Wednesday? Tuesday? I don't even know what day it is. Y'all, I've been so stressed out. Like, why have I been so stressed? Like, my stress level is, like, through the roof. And it's just... It's over stupid shit. Like... Anyways, I'll get into that. Um, so... Work finally slowed down. And then, today, my boss came to work sick, and I was just like, God forsaken, bless America, I cannot find a freaking break today, people. Just give me a freaking break. I have 500,000 things to do today, and then my boss being sick, sure the hell ain't one of them. And then he left to go looking for a house somewhere, and... I'm just like, oh, well, you guys just buy a house already because I'm, I'm, ugh. So, I was at the shop for most of the day by myself. I'm not complaining. The shop, most of the days by myself. I'm off to myself doing my thing anyways, and my boss is off doing his stuff 90% of the time, but... It is nice knowing that my boss is there. If any time I could usually use a hand with something, if something ha happens, I know I could pick up my phone that I carry around the shop. Yeah, 
I do answer cell phone or I do answer the phone when you call my work. I answer it. Blah 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 blah. Jeremy speaking. And uh, I was gonna say the name of my print shop, but then I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm talking about this on a YouTube channel. I've already had somebody show up to my work. I ain't about that shit. Don't be showing up to my work. You're gonna get the uh, the. Uh, You're going to get a side of me that you ain't going to want to see because I ain't going to be very nice. I ain't going to be very nice. Unless it was Mrs. Coffee, then that's a different story. Get off of my canvas. You're bad. Bad mojo. You got broken. You broken. Get out of here. I don't know where that went, but I don't really care right now. It was broken. I didn't want it on my canvas. God forsaken, bless America. My wax is dry. I was told this week that I can't cuss no longer at work. That's like... That's a lot for me. Because every other word out of my mouth... You guys see me cussing a little bit from here and there. But when I'm at work and stuff pisses me off, the first thing out of my mouth is fuck. And when you're... Talking to a customer and I'm over off the side going, oh, fuck, and throw something off the, all across the room. And my boss just turns around, looks at me, and shakes his head. And I'm like, okay, I got it. I got your point. But, and I did spill some of my diamonds there because I picked up my tray like an idiot. Sorry, I'm drinking some Mountain Dew. But, like, two seconds later, my boss turns around and goes, God damn it, stupid people. I'm like, ah, no cussing. So, I may have to take, like, a, a swear jar to work because, yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting in a lot of trouble because you guys don't, like, see, like, the true side of me that I don't show on YouTube. You guys see me as a nice, sweet, innocent little guy that... Is so loving and caring to people. <sighs> There's so much that you don't even know about. Don't break my tip. I wanted to play drums. I really should play drums again. I don't need another goddamn hobby. I found my keyboard this weekend. I was going to... Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm a hot mess. But, you know, the express. Here we come. Uh, yes, I can play the keyboard. I can play the... I can play a lot of... Old, I, eh. Eh. You know, my old age, I haven't played shit in a long time. So... Honestly, I probably couldn't play to save my life. But I used to play the saxophone. I used to play guitar. I used to play the keyboard. I used to play piano. Um, I played the violin. Um, let's see, what else have I played? Um, I played on some tatas. Oh, sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I play a lot, of, a lot of instruments in my life. My family was always into music, and uh, I have family in music. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you guys know who Richard Marx is. That's my cousin. Uh, 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 uh. They say, really? In real life, cousin? Yes, in real life, cousin. I just seen a color that I was going to do, and then I completely forgot what color I was going to do. I love having a squirrel in my brain. Get off oh, oh, my canvas. <laughs> oh, my brain is like marshmallows, I swear. The, the squirrel is so hyper right now. It doesn't know what to do with itself. Hyper one minute, stressed out the other minute, depressed another minute. It doesn't know what it's doing. 
All right, I'm looking for the sh Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades! It's not the Ace of Spades, though, dummy. I miss Lemmy. Lemmy was a cool dude. I don't know if you guys know who Lemmy is, but Lemmy was the lead singer to Motorhead. God, I loved Motorhead. Motorhead was the best. It's the Ace of Spades. It's the Ace of Spades. He only had really like one, one. Ah, uh, he had he had quite a few good songs, but I I only remember the Ace of Spades. Like that was the song that I always like got stuck on. It's the Ace of Spades. Oh, you guys! I'm such a squirrel brain, and I'm all over the place like I usually am. Uh, it is still colder than a witch's tit in California. Um, today was a whopping, uh, 47 degrees. Rain and cold all bloody freaking day. Tonight's low is going to be like 29 or 30 I don't like the cold. Can you take it back wherever it came from? I literally do not. I hate the cold. The, the cold is my march in, enemy. Like, yeah, however that saying goes. My, my, yeah, whatever. I don't even, I don't, I don't care right now. Um, yeah, my march in, 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 uh, what, whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, yeah, the cold. No, no. Mm -mm. Not happening with me. You can take that shit right back and shove it up your ass where it came from because mm -mm, not me. I don't like the cold. I am not a fan of the cold. How did the diamonds get behind the plastic? I don't know. God for sake and bless the freaking America. And I just spilled diamonds again. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Anyways, what was I talking about? I don't freaking remember. I got I got to jamming on a music riff and Woo! La La Land Close, baby! Close! No! I said close. Don't close on yourself. Close. There you go. Good job, Beggy. Alright, let's see. What do I have for my notes here? Otherwise, I'm gonna get sidetracked and lost on everything else. And it's, it's mother humping, mother humper. Uh, so. This weekend. I was productive, y'all. I cleaned my whole house. From, like, top to bottom. I cleaned my kitchen. I cleaned my kit. Um, I was going to say my kitchen again. Oh, hello upstairs. Are you th home? It sounds pretty hollow. Um, I clean my kitchen. I clean my dining room, except for my craft stuff that's on my dining room table. Um, I clean the whole entire living room. I went into my bedroom. I cleaned my bedroom. I got into my closet. I cleaned my closet out. I put a bunch of boxes up into storage, and I literally got a bunch of shit done. I found this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is, uh, this is something that's very special to me. It's got a very special, uh, sentimental attachment to me in this bracelet. Um, this was my best friend's bracelet. And she's no longer with us. Uh, she wore this bracelet literally all the time. We were best friends from the time we were in uh, freshman year of high school. All the way through. Uh, we went to college. We went to three years of college together. On her last... Uh, it was like the last break before it was the end of the semester there was like a, a 
couple of day weekend. And we, I went home, she went somewhere, and when I went back to school, I seen her sister, and I was like, Katrina, where's your sister? Um, I got bad news for you, Jeremy. And I was like, what do you mean? Because she had a twin sister. Uh, they were both good looking. Let me tell you what, they were both good looking. Nice, nice cute blondes. Uh, but she's like, um, my sister passed away. And I was like, you, you, oh, oh, I, like, what? Long story short, she went someplace for a party or something. This guy was there riding her motorcycle around. He asked her if she wanted to ride. She was like, yeah, this idiot must have been drinking or something. He lost control of the motorcycle. Uh, well, he, he was riding the motorcycle, and at the end of the road, there was rocks. Because there was like a 75-foot drop down. And it was all rocks. And he was riding around being stupid, and he hit one of the rocks and sent her flying in the air and killed her. I went to her funeral. This was sitting on her casket. With a note that said to Jeremy. Wow. Yeah. Why am I so fucking emotional? Oh, hot fucking mess. Good God. But yeah, she was like one of my best friends for like seven, eight years. Lost her. Yeah, let's go ahead and change the subject so I don't get, uh, I don't start crying. I'm a, I'm a crier, y'all. I'm a crier. Uh, I, like, if things don't go my way, I'll just cry. No, I'm joking. I'm not a crier. I'll just put the music on louder. <laughs> Bang your head! Uh, let's see. What color am I gonna go with? I don't know because I literally have like five colors to finish. Um, what's this little downward square? Number 14. Let's see, is there a 14? Right there. Nice. Okay, so literally clean my house, clean clean my my bedroom, clean my closet, um, my closet still looks like a bombshell went off in it. Um, after I put everything back into it, I was just like, God. But now at least I can walk into there and get to my clothes. Before it was like boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. And I never really used it as a closet. I mean, I had like stuff hanging in there, but I never like fully like used it as a closet. Because I have like a... a a laundry room in the house, and it's got its own, like, little closet back there, and that's where I've always just hanged my shirts at, and all my shorts and pants and skivvies and sockies and all of that kind of stuff go into drawers, so sockies and skivvies. But the reason why I was talking about that is because it was it seemed like right after I got done cleaning my whole entire house, like within like three days, it looks like a bombshell went off in here again. Trapper, you walk out of the living room right now, Trapper's got like 30 toys all over the living room floor. I'm like, what? I come home today, there's literally 25 to 30 toys like all over the living room floor. And I was just like... What are you doing while I'm at work to play with all of these toys? I don't know, maybe his sister is sleeping and she's not playing with him while she's, because she's sleeping. I don't know. 
Maybe he's just bored or out of his mind, so he just gets out all the toys and wants to play with everything. I don't know. I don't know. I can't read the dog's mind. But I do have a, a house camera, so uh, I'm going to start turning it on while I'm at work and watching the video uh, because I can watch it live um, from my phone app. And I can watch and see what he's doing. I can hear him if he barks or if he does anything. I can tell him to shut up. Shut your pie hole. Shut that pie hole. I'm going to smack it. I'll just, I'll just, I ain't going to smack it. I'll just punch it. You shut your pie hole. I love the pie hole. I love that word. <sighs> Cheers to shutting your pie hole. Uh, so, let's see. Oh, God. You guys, yesterday, on my way home, this is a hilarious. This is, like, super hilarious. So, on my way home, I'm driving along, and I get about, I don't know, like, a half a mile before my road. And I, I'm, I'm slowing down from 65 to 55, and, and then I just kind of just start, there's like nobody behind me, so I just kind of start coasting because it's like 100 yards and I turn. And on the side of the road over here is this guy and a chick that are on a motorcycle, and I'm like, man, this one really looks funny. What are they doing over here? The guy is trying to get his hands warm. He's sitting over there going like this. And, like, right as I get to them, the chick pulls up his shirt, or her shirt, and she he sticks his hands up into the boobies. Like, she's like, here, babe, just, just grab some of this. Like, and she just sat there on the side of the street with her, with her shirt up in the air, and I'm driving by like, God damn! Wait, wait. You know, at least she's caring. She's like, here, these are nice and warm. Grab these. You know? Like, goddamn. At least she's caring. Say, grab some titties. You know? Just don't play with them because they ain't going to get frisky on the side of the road. <sighs> that was just hilarious. I was, I was dying. I was dying of laughter. X, 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 X. X marks the spot for all the crazies. You know, it's funny because it always seemed like in my lifetime of dating people, I've always gone for the wrong type of girl. I've always gone for the the partier, the kind of crazies, the psycho cocaine crazies is what I like to call them because they all end up, what freaking number am I looking for? Is it so? Yeah, like I always seem to go for the psycho cocaine crazy ladies, and it's like, why can't like I can't find 12, but why can't like out of 40 something, 44 years of. Being on this earth, why can't I find a good girl? Like, is it the bag that's on the floor? I don't know, Jeremy, is it? Nope, not the one on the floor. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass, I guess. I just. I'll just be a bachelor for the rest of my life and have a YouTube wife and I'll. I'll be good! You know? I'll be good. All good. All good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Why can't I find number 12? Oh, I guess it's time to go through these diamonds once again. I have a pile of diamonds over here. I am so sick and tired of pulling colors out and putting colors back and pulling colors out. I just started throwing them into a godforsaken pile. 
I'm so burnt out on diamond painting, you guys. It's not even funny. I don't even know how I'm going to finish the two paintings I have. How am I going to start a new effing painting when it comes time to starting a new effing painting? Because I do have something coming up with Crafting with Christy, like we did last year. And I just... I. Oh, man. Stop playing mind tricks on me, fucking brain. Fucking brain. Mind tricks, I'm telling y'all. Mind tricks. It is psychedelic. It's like my mind's on acid all the time and it's playing tricks on me. I wish it was on acid, to tell you the truth. It might, it might function better than what it functions right now. No, don't do acid, y'all. Acid's bad. Like my, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the most wonderful time of the year where people like to buy people gifts that is overrated and I hate Christmas. This year I thought I was going to get all excited about Christmas because I was supposed to have a Christmas Collab with Principal Painter, Diamond Painter, Sister Kara, Bear, and I had to back out of that just because I had three family members pass away within about a month's time and it just, it hit me really hard and just on top of that, the memorial of my mom's passing and I'm just, like, I've been an emotional wreck, like, wreck. I need, I need somebody to be my backbone. Can somebody be there to look for, out for me? And I'm not saying that for somebody to fucking show up and be like, oh, I'll protect you. No, I have protection. I don't need that. Trust me, I don't need that. Um, chances are... I don't know why the frick did chances are coming in my head. I don't know. Chances are... Do, 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 do. Da 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 chances are I'm a hot freaking mess. I'm... Yeah, Christmas this year turned into an absolute shit show. I was not prepared for Christmas. I have not I've literally have not done anything for Christmas for any of my my special people that I usually get stuff for Christmas. Um, but I still have enough time. I'm going to just, I'm going to send some gift cards out to a couple people. Um, hopefully next year, with some help, I can get into the Christmas spirit. Christmas is never the same. That's why I don't do the Christmas premieres because I get, I, I turn into the Grinch on Christmas. The rock and roll Grinch. <sighs> Sorry. Um, um, yeah, I'm a hot mess. It's the rock and roll Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what else am I going to talk about? Thirty-three. I gotta find thirty-three in this hot mess of baggies. Let's see what else is there to talk about. Mm -hmm. 
So yes, like I was saying earlier, um, wood burning. I did start a wood burning channel. I'm going to talk about it real quick. Um, there will be a link in the description box down below if you'd like to follow it and the Instagram to that account. All wood burnings will be on that account. Um, and I have taken wood burning into like full effect. I'm like 100% in to wood burning right now. And I think parts of the reason I'm so stressed out lately is because like... I've put so much time and effort into reading books, watching videos, and learning the craft of pyography, and learning shading tricks and techniques of, like, how to shade fur, like, on a dog or a wolf or whatever. And I'm still stressed out because I can't freaking get the technique and it's driving me absolutely bonkers. So, Friday's video, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do because I, I have been so stressed out about wood burning. I think I'm just, I'm pushing myself too fast to to learn and get the technique when I, when I'm, I, I can almost, I can imagine, I could just imagine the technique's not going to just come to me like that. It's going to take time to to work on things and get things going and I don't know. I just need a little fire. Uh I got some fireball in the fridge. That might taste good. No. No alcohol. I don't need no alcohol. Screw alcohol. Thirty-three. Okay, let's find thirty-three before I forget what I'm doing and get off onto some other tangent on something else because but yeah, so I absolutely love wood burning. I am I am all about learning the craft of pyography, learning more about it, learning more of the shading techniques that I need to learn. I'll show you guys a couple pieces I did. Um I think they turned out awesome, but the wolf it doesn't quite have the shading technique that I'm looking for. Um, but it does look good. It did turn out good. It's too small, but I still just can't seem to get that technique down. The owl, on other hand, the owl turned out absolutely freaking awesome. Um, I really love this. This was easy to do. The shading in this was nice and easy to learn. So I think this is what I'm going to do for my video for Friday for the other channel. Um, I know I told you guys I was going to do this and I was going to do that. And... It, it just is what it is. No ends, ups, and buts about it. I've, I've pushed myself to getting stressed out about it and then like my depression's like oh mind tricks y'all mind tricks i'm fed up with the mind games get your mind games in the gutter All right, I had to start a new clip there. Oh, man. I am... I'm not giving up. It's, this is not me giving up. This is just me, like, venting to you guys that wood burning has been stressing me out. I have been trying to learn so much stuff about shading that I've I've just got to the point where I'm just... I think I've just pushed myself too fast and too far. I gotta take my time and learn it. But, uh, I'll get it. I'll get past it. I just need that extra little spark. 
pushed a little bit faster. Maybe go watch some more videos, learn some more techniques of what to do. Racist stick, anyone? They're all mine. You can't have any. Sorry. God, I love peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate. My best friend. My best friend. I don't, why do I always feel like singing when I'm doing my videos? I don't know. I'm a hot mess. On the express. Alright, I'm done with this color. I got like three more colors to do. And I'm finally freaking done with this section. And I can move on to a bigger and better section. Get out of my money trade. Money trade. Money made trade. Alright, so. Questions. I've, like I was starting out at the beginning of this video, where I talked about you guys asking questions, and I was going to answer them, because a few people have asked some questions. Um, and then I got completely utterly sidetracked on what I was doing and started on some other tangent. I don't even really know what I talked about at this point in time. But that doesn't matter. 28 is the number. We're going to talk about questions that people have asked me in the last few days. And the first question is, what is my... Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm reading that wrong. Uh, sectioning a video. I did a sectioning video about... Oh, gosh. I don't even remember. I'll have to look. It's probably been like a year, eight months, somewhere in that range. Somebody asked me to do a new one. I've already done two of them. I really don't think I need to do another one. If you want to see the one, the two that I have done, I'll try to link them in the description box down below. If I remember, I'll write myself a note. Because the way my brain has worked this last week, I don't know if it's up, down, sideways, upside down, hollow, anything in there. I really don't know. So, there's that. What, um, second question is, what is my 2022 resolutions? I did talk about this on a live on last Saturday or the Saturday. I think it was last Saturday. Um, oh, and a heads up, I will not be live this coming Saturday because it is Christmas Day. And, I mean, if if there wasn't Christmas premieres going on that uh, Sister Pippa Brown is putting on with the... There's a whole list of creators that are doing with... Uh, Frick. Premieres, not whipping chats. They're doing premieres, so you'll get like an hour or so long premiere. You can go and talk, chit-chat with them. The creator will probably be in the live. It's the, A live is like a premiere, but it's not live. It's a recording video, but you have chat you can talk in. Okay, so I will not be live because those are going on, and I'm not going to step on top of toes. Uh, so, plans for... Let me find my color real quick. For 2021. 
So my plans are to So I've been on YouTube for three years, okay? Actually take that back. I've been on YouTube for like seven years. I didn't start diamond painting on this channel until roughly about three years ago. Um, and thank you, Mrs. Coffee. I appreciate it, wifey. Uh, I used to do a bunch of different live streams. And I would just sit there face to face and talk to y'all. Well, after a month or two of going live like every other day and like five times a week like it got boring as hell like hella boring i got sick and tired of doing it so i started cutting days out and i was like i'm not doing this anymore i'm not doing this anymore so i just went to saturday nights one night in there Mrs. Coffee said, because I knew her back then, and she was at my live, and she was like, why don't you diamond paint live? Because she knew I diamond painted, and I was like, do y'all want to see me diamond paint live? And lo and behold, three years later, I diamond paint live every Saturday night. I enjoy it. Sometimes... I don't enjoy it a lot. Uh, like, I I enjoy my time slot, but then sometimes I'm like, I give up like four hours of my Saturday to go live when I could be doing something else. Fishing, hunting, whatever. But... What you know, like winter time, I don't care about winter time. Summertime, yeah, I miss lives because I hunt, I fish, I, I go camping, I do all kinds of different things. That's just the battle of the beast. But yeah, it was Mrs. Coffee who uh got me diamond painting on camera. Um H is forty eight. So, New Year's resolutions. I'm going to get back on topic here. I am I am all over the place. So, New Year's resolutions is to stop buying so much bloody shit that I don't need. Maybe I need it. Maybe it's more of a, a want. Or maybe it's more of a, a need, but I want it. I don't know. How does that go? Anyways. Uh, so, you know, like... Certain things I see, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta have that. You know, you know diamond painters are like that. So, next year, my goal is, is to cut back on buying... So much stuff. Like, good God, last year I spent so much money on, on crap. Pins. Diamond paintings. Uh, cover minders. Like, I, like, the thing that newer creators don't understand, don't, don't really understand or know getting into diamond painting, or getting into YouTube, I should say, is when you're a YouTuber, you feel like you're obligated to to buy everything and show everything to everybody. Like, my first, like, two years of, of diamond painting, like, I was, like, balls to the walls, like, buying every single diamond painting that I liked, buying every single pin I liked, buying every single cover minder I liked... And then it got to the point where it was like, dude, I'm spending, I spent probably like two grand in like three months. And I was like, whoa, I gotta, I gotta like 
I gotta check myself, okay? So, 2022 is going to be a year of more work. Less buying everything that comes up, you know? So, instead of there being unboxing videos all the time, it's going to be more native beating, tie-dye, whip and chat. Cross stitch. Hell, I desperately want to get back into coloring, but with the wood burning being so, like, so much pounded into my head right now, that I I'm going to put off coloring for a little bit longer. But I need some coloring videos, please. Yeah, so. Less buying stuff, less putting out so much money out of my own pocket on diamond paintings and all the accessories and all the goodies. And concentrate more on getting work done. So Mondays are going to be a native beading, a tie-dye, uh, a cross-stitch, one of those three. Wednesdays are going to be... Diamond painting every Wednesday. I may end up and throw in a cross stitch whipping chat here and there, but that'll probably be on Monday. Um, and then live Saturday. And then if I feel somewhat accomplished in the, you know, uh, the week and I, I have the time, I may throw out an extra Friday video here and there. Oh, I completely forgot. Cooking. Cooking. I was an absolute brain fart. Cooking, because cooking is like, I, my, my, like, my main passion is for cooking. I love to cook. I don't know, I'm weird. I love to cook, I love to clean, I love to do laundry. I don't know, I'm weird. But it also has a lot to do with OCD, so, like... I don't have OCD. I say I don't have OCD, but man, let me tell you what. When it comes time to, like, having a clean house, like, I can't stand. I mean, throughout the week, if I don't pick up and clean, I'm like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get it Saturday. And then sometimes it's like, by the time the end of the week's over, I'm like, dude, this house is a bloody bombshell. And I'd be so embarrassed if somebody showed up to my house right now. You know? So. Anywho. Yeah. Next year. Not so much buying. More work. More productivity. More. Just having fun with YouTube. Instead of being so... Go, go, go all the time. Bullshit. You know? Number eight. You are my sunshine. Uh, let's see. What else? I think I talked to you guys about diamond painting. It's been like, I don't know. I, I'm honestly thinking about hanging both of these paintings up. And whenever me and Crafting with Christy do our collab, if we do our collab, or what's going on with that, um, I'll start a new painting then. But just, just hang, just hang these up. Call it, call it done for a while because... I don't have my spark, my fire to diamond paint anymore. I find it boring a lot. I'll, like, some days I get all excited. I'm like, cool, man, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna diamond paint. Yeah. I go home, I put like 15, 20 diamonds down, and then I get up and I walk out of the craft room. I'm like, eh. Yeah. So. I don't know. 
I'm not gonna stop diamond painting, so don't worry about that. I will no never stop diamond painting. I have too many of them to to stop diamond painting. I've put too much bloody freaking money into diamond painting. I I'm not stopping. Man, I broke the tooth. I broke this tooth like a month ago. And I was gonna go to the dentist and the dentist was like, Oh, I'm I'm like backed up like a month. And I was like, Frick, that's like Christmas. I was like, you know what? It's not even bothering me that bad. It's fine. I just broke like a side off the tooth. The bad thing is, is it's right up against my cheek on the inside. So it did cut my cheek a little bit in a couple spots. But I was like, ah, alright, let's go ahead and make an appointment because it's going to be like a month out. And then they called me. Um, Monday. Yeah, I think it was Monday. And they're like, we have to cancel your appointment. We are so incredibly busy. It's not gonna. It's gonna be at least two more weeks before we can get you in. And I was like, "Oh, it's okay. Not a rush." Um. Well, is the tooth hurting you at all? And I go, "Yeah, it was, but I went and got a file out of the the toolbox, and I stuck a file in my mouth and filed the edge of the tooth, and it's good now. It's not cutting my my cheek at all. You took a file to your tooth." What am I supposed to do? It's sharp. It's cutting my cheek. I, I took a, a file. I put it back there. I sat on top of the tooth and I filed, I filed it until it was nice and flat. What do you want me to do? I'm a redneck. Leave me alone. It's called redneck ingenuity. But yeah. I filed my tooth down because... Wow, 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 wow. It hurt. It was cutting my cheek. What am I supposed to do? Let it go? Let it cut the shit out of my cheek? No. Uh, so, it's it's like flattened off. Um, doesn't hurt my cheek at all now. So, it's a lot better. Hey. I see. What time am I at? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. What else do I got to talk about? I don't care. So, why do people get offended by things that I say or someone says to me? I don't. I don't. I don't really understand why. Why it. Uh, it matters. If. I call Mrs. Coffee my wife, or she calls me her her husband. It really doesn't matter, right? No, it doesn't. This person messaged me highly offended that me would say that Mrs. Coffee's my wife. Like, highly offended. And I was like, why? Why does it matter to you? It shouldn't matter to you. This is me and her. That's it. Nobody else really should have two flying fucks to say anything about it. Should they? No. And she was like, but she's... Like, how, how could you? I'm like, what? You're not down with the swirl? Oh, come on. You're telling me... You're... You're racist. Alright. Thank you for... For messaging me. You can go take a flying fuck and jump off the earth. And don't ever talk to me again. Because... I don't... I don't get down with that. Like, if you're gonna be disrespectful to me... Because I call somebody my YouTube wife. Like, what does it matter what I do? 
because, like, every other creator on this planet and on YouTube says, this is my channel. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Wah, 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 wah. Stay sexy and don't get murdered. It's a tip for today. Stay sexy and don't get murdered. All right. I think that's about it for me. I don't know if anything else is going on. I do have to record a video right after this for my Patreons because I forgot to record one to today, Tuesday, so Patreons are going to get a video from Wednesday. I got to figure out what I'm going to do because I got like five paintings to unbox and I just got a big old Cincy box and I just got a uh, Secret Santa uh, from my Secret Santa um, because if you guys didn't know, Ruby Q did a Secret Santa. It was kind of a last minute thing for us creators to do. Um, a handful or two of people got involved in it. Uh, hopefully she does it next year, and she plans, and we can spread the word and get a bunch of people involved in it. I think that would be fun. Um, since Rachel didn't do hers this year, and who did the Secret Santa last year? Oh, the Crafty Heffa. Why you been, Heffa? So, I love the name, the Crafty Heffa. Uh, so, that's it for me. Um, stay tuned. Um, I may put up a video Friday. I may not. I don't know. Um, I may go live on Twitch this weekend, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I think that's about it. So, y'all stay savage. Have... Zero Fs to give to anybody, and have peace, love, and respect for all. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. I said bye, guys.